the Slate River, up valley from Crested Butte, where we've got slightly deeper snowpack here. That's uh, about three feet below tree line slope, 10,000 feet in elevation. And we've got still very weak snow at the ground. This is our persistent weak layer we've been highlighting. And here our slab is starting to decay. Got a little bit of forefinger uh, left in there. And as you move closer to town, we're seeing that this slab is almost entirely faceted out. As we move further, there's still a little bit of a slab left. This didn't propagate in our results, highlighting the fact that these um, persistent slabs are becoming less reactive where these slabs are starting to decay. As you go deeper or higher in elevation, um, these slabs are more intact and we still have uncertainty and concern about triggering a, a persistent slab on these weak layers. So we're up here in our ridge line now, uh, just above 11,000 feet and demonstrating the difference between a wind loaded slope uh, and what we were looking at down lower where it's more protected. So right up here, we've got a stiffer slab. It's one finger in spots. And we did a stability test and we've got there this thing is. to propagate on the same weak layer at the bottom. So this is highlighting what we've been talking about in our forecast is going to more wind-loaded terrain. The slabs are more intact, they're beefier. Uh, it's more dangerous conditions. If you can trigger an avalanche, you're more likely to do it from uh, near and above tree line, wind-loaded slopes. Still some concerns in the deeper part of our forecast area below tree line as well. Go for it. It's beefy, beefy slab. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>